Good morning and welcome to another edition of Storytime. Now today I've got a book about teamwork and friendship and it's called Mr Wrinkles. Mr Wrinkles was an elephant and not just any elephant. He was the oldest, wisest elephant in all of Africa. He knew the names of all the other animals for miles around because, let's not forget, an elephant never forgets. Mr Wrinkles made the same long journey out to the waterhole each day. He spoke to all the brightly coloured birds who told him about the things they had seen on their travels. They told him about the lions out on the plain and the crocodiles who were making a nuisance of themselves in the river again. He spoke to the giraffes who were already munching on their breakfast. It was their favourite, acacia leaves. They told him about the morning before the sun had risen and were kind enough to share some of their leaves with him. Mr Wrinkles enjoyed having his breakfast at the waterhole very much, but could not stay long. He had to walk a long way to see his friend Mr Cheetah. On his way, Mr Wrinkles felt the ground move beneath him and before he knew it, he was stuck in a big hole. Being wise, he did not panic. He knew that there must be a way out. He just had to think. He had a long look around to see who was there and moved his legs a little. The hole was deep and cold and came up to his middle. After a few minutes, he decided to call out for help. Help me, he shouted. I'm stuck in a hole and can't move. He wiggled some more until finally he decided to stop and wait for someone to arrive. Very soon, a tiny head appeared. It was a meerkat named Eddie. Hello, Mr Wrinkles. I was just out playing with my brothers and sisters and thought I heard something. Do you need a hand? I do, my friend. Could you help me get out of this hole, please? Just then, another tiny head appeared, then another and another, until he was completely surrounded by meerkats. Mr Wrinkles knew all their names, but could not say hello to everyone. It would take far too long. Hello, everyone, he said. Please, could you help me? I'm stuck. But how can we help you? You are so big and we are so small. Someone said. Don't you worry, Eddie said. I have an idea. There are lots of us. We will find someone to get you out of there. Eddie and all his brothers and sisters began to spread out in search of help. It was not long until they found three giraffes called Spot, Speckle and Freckle who were more than happy to help their old friend. The giraffes with their long necks each pulled a branch down from a nearby tree and told Mr Wrinkles to hold on tight. He wrapped his trunk around the long branches and with a heave and a roar he pulled as hard as he could. But he moved just a little bit. They stopped to rest because it was a very hot day. As they decided, sorry, as they tried to decide what to do, a hundred birds of all different colours flew down from the bright sky to sit on his back. They flapped their wings with all their might to try and lift him, while he pulled again with his long trunk, and he moved a little bit more. A few hours later, as Mr Wrinkles was thinking he would never get out, a big wildebeest called Clive with, a long, with long pointy horns found the group. Hello, Mr Wrinkles. I heard a hornbill saying that you were stuck. Can I offer you my assistance? Oh, yes, please, Clive. Oh, yes, please. Clive would appreciate it very much. Clive stood behind Mr Wrinkles and together they flapped and pulled and cheered and pushed until, with a shout and a roar, 
Mr. Wrinkles climbed out of the hole. Thank you very much, my friends, he said. You are all very special to me. I would not have been able to get out of that hole without each and every one of you working together as a team. He looked all at all the animals gathered around him and smiled. My meerkat friends, even though you are small, there are many of you, and your voices spread the word of my problem far and wide. Spot Freckle and Speckle, your long necks helped reach the highest branches for me to hold on to. My bird friends, even though you are not very strong, together your wings are stronger than the strongest lion. And finally, Clive, my good wildebeest friends, you are fast and strong. What's some nice compliments there? Thank you everyone for being such good friends. Even though all of you are different, you are all very special indeed. This is a day I will never forget. Mr Wrinkles celebrated that evening with all his friends and thanked them and promised that he would always be there if they ever fell into a hole. And there you can see Mr Wrinkles with all his friends. I hope you enjoyed story time today. Um, there won't be a story time tomorrow because tomorrow is VE day so a great chance to spend um, some time and maybe having picnics in the garden if the weather's nice. So I hope you enjoy um, VE Day tomorrow and we'll see you again next week. Bye!